Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney giving their CFO a contract extension and a possible $11 million incentive. Annual incentive. Annual incentive when they've been laying off their frontline workers like crazy and... Uh, there actually are food pantries set up for many Disney employees. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Disney, what the hell? Yeah, I was like not very happy when I saw this. So they filed, did a filing, we'll talk about it. But her contract was supposed to end in June of next year and they extended it to the this end of December of 2022. And, and among her, like other senior executives, so this is one annual incentive of many. Yes. Uh, she gets up to 11, 11 million, depending on the economy. Well, depending on the economy, isn't offering any of this stuff kind of tone deaf? It is. So we'll, we'll talk about that because this is uh, this is typical Disney guys. This is the family friendly company that uh, you know everyone keeps saying that we we hate. We don't hate them. We just don't like. We don't what like they pull. Do. They don't like we pull shit like this. We don't like it when they pull shit like this. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over one hundred and fifty thousand subs. Woo! Thank you for the support and check out Geeky's Toy Drive. Uh, look at this. She's actually been buying toys, lots of toys. I have been. For girls and boys. Uh, she's been Santa Claus. And um, this is, you know, thanks in part to the help from the Reef. Yes. You guys have been buying stuff from her shop. All the money from the shop is going to uh, buy the toys. Now, um, Mama Sparkles has donated some pouches because that's what she does. And here they are, and they're very well made because she is a professional seamstress. So she donated some different things. Look, we got Ren and Stimpy. We got classic Ninja Turtles. We got Black Panther. You know, there's different links from Zelda. I love the Tron. The Tron, the Tron is very, really very cool, cute. Yeah. And there's different sizes. You can own oh, classic shortcake. So you can pick those. And then there's some plushies and bracelets and some stuff, different things. Um, all the money is going to every bit of it to the 10th and maybe I might go a little further because they said they might work with us a little bit longer Okay, um, is going to go all of it to buy toys for kids. Yeah, this is uh, through the Salvation Army. We've been you know sorting them according to child uh, coming from the Angel Tree. So if you can help out, that's awesome. If you can't, that's also awesome. We appreciate the support because actually just watching our videos, some of that money is going to help mm -hmm. people as well. So thanks for that. So let's let's talk about this. Um, you know, especially since we're talking about, you know, giving back and helping and people, helping people during the holidays, during 2020, Yeah, 2020, because this year has been terrible for so many. Um, and then this is what they do. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Christine McCarthy, who's a Disney CFO. If you've listened to the live streams of their earnings calls, she is a major voice in that. It's usually mm -hmm. one of the Bobs and Christine McCarthy. This is what she looks like. Uh, and yeah, the company is not doing well, but we did a video yesterday talking about how executives, Disney executives are jumping ship probably for better offers, more secure offers, but she's not going anywhere. Uh, she's getting big fat paycheck and big fat bonuses, mm -hmm. uh, 11 million dollars. So you want to talk about this, Geeky? Yeah, you're... I'll talk about it, even though I didn't realize I had highlighted the entire thing in bold. So <laughs> That's now okay. Like, you're yeah. yelling. You're yelling I'm at so people. I'm so mad. Yeah, so basically, I already said she was supposed to have her contract up, and they talk about that, uh, into June, and they extended it to December 31st, 2022. Mm -hmm. And then they go on to talk about this $11 million incentive, annual incentive. So basically, subject to the terms of this agreement, executives shall be entitled to participate in the equity-based long-term incentive, incentive compensation plans, programs, or arrangements generally made available to most senior executive officers. So she isn't the only one getting this, guys. We were like, $11 million for her. Apparently, she's not the only one. So put that wrap your head around that for a minute. Yeah. So this is what a lot of people were upset about because, uh, you know, the executives took a very short, uh, very short pay cut yeah. at Disney, you know, in solidarity with the uh, frontline workers. And now they're right back to where they started from as the company is hemorrhaging cash. Right. They're, they're paying her a lot of money. Now, to be fair... You know, she could be an incredibly valuable employee. Yeah. And they need to, you know, and this is. But to be fair, you laid off 30 some thousand people, but you're going to give her $11 million annually on top of what she already is getting, which we don't know what that is. Yeah. So this is the thing. They laid off 32,000 staffers. 
Um, a lot of them in the parks, a lot of them uh, grunts. Now there have been some Imagineers left mm-hmm. go and and all of that. And I think what is so uh, disgusting about it is the fact that Disney is basically putting it on Disney fans and theme park fans to help. And put employees f- that are, you know, are still working. Yeah, employees that are still working to help put food on the tables of the employees that they let go. $11 million would buy a hell of a lot of food. Right. Uh, they were saying there was like miles long lines that lasted for hours of people in the in the lines for the, the food assistance. Okay. Yeah. Other blogs that are theme park blogs are out there doing fundraisers to raise money and different things that all the money's going to the employee, employees, cast members that are laid off for the food pantries and things like that. They're putting it on the fans and they're putting it on the bloggers and stuff to basically take care of their employees that they just cut loose. Oh, because the economy is so bad. Uh, and everybody understood. They're like, okay, we understand. It sucks. But yeah, the economy's bad. And it's a very poor taste to turn around. Now, it wasn't a se- another filing. I don't think they knew it was going to get left left out there. Yeah. But they just extended her contract with an $11 million annual bonus. Now, they'll argue, well, it says if you know that it could vary. It does say it could vary depending on the economy, depending on the financial situation of the company. But then my question is, it also says it could go less than or greater than. It says that in there too. But it could vary. Then why offer it at all? If it's going by the economy and the financial situation, Disney is not going to recover next year. They may start recovering in 2022, maybe, possibly, maybe, depending on when they can get everything back on track, which could be months still. Why would you go ahead and offer this now? Yeah, well, they're probably afraid that she's going to jump ship like some other executives have jumped ship. And she is a key executive. I mean, well, they can re- they replace the other people. Yeah, they can replace Imagineers. I'm they sure can repl- they yeah. can replace. They can find another CFO who would do just as good a job. And they don't have to give them $11 million incentive. Now, what's really curious, I'm just going to put this out there because this has gone down the memory hole. Remember a couple of years ago when a Disney accountant came out? Mm -hmm. A whistleblower, uh, I think it was Market Watch, and she said that there was some shenanigans going on at Disney, that Disney was cooking the books. And there was a big brouhaha about that. And then wouldn't she be involved in that if it was if it was true? It was on her watch when this happened. Because right. apparently this happened She's been there in, since 2015 as, as CFO. And she was the treasurer for 15 years before that. Right. So, yes, it was definitely through. If, if it was true, if true, which if you notice, if you follow Disney, anytime this stuff comes out, accusations come out or lawsuits come out, they suddenly disappear. Almost always. Uh, yeah. But it would be, if, if true, it would have been on her watch that this would have happened. It would have been. Now, uh, it did disappear down the memory hole. We just talked about it the other day. We're like, what happened to that whistleblower? Because she was a high-ranking accountant mm-hmm. at Disney. She wasn't just some rando. She was, like, pretty high up the food chain. And she got laid off in 2017 or 2018 and said that for years... Disney have been juggling the books. Right. And then people are trying to say, oh, she's disgruntled and all this other crap. But then, like I said, we see all these cases where, like, there was a Skyliner incident. All these people were trapped in the Skyliner. How come you never heard anything? And some people were like, were and they had ambulances for them and stuff. How come you never heard anything else about it? Why do you think that is? How about the lady with the Onward van and all the controversy there? Big, There was a big yeah. stink in the media. Disappeared a few days later. Why do you think that is? Yep. But uh, she's one of many senior executives get, that are probably getting an annual incentive bonus. Millions of dollars. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, you know, 32,000 people laid off. Now, I do understand business uh, very well, actually. And and I do understand capitalism. And I get that, you know, not every employee is as valuable to the company as as other employees are. And that if she's bringing it, then she definitely deserves Right. And if you have more. areas shut off, you can't keep paying. Paying people would not be there. But eleven million dollars in a time like this. You meanwhile, last year you, and year before, you guys had no trouble jacking the rates up on annual pass holders, jacking the rates up on the tickets and the hotels, and making people pay for parking, raising prices on food, raising prices on things like mouse ears, raising prices on everything. And you're bragging about your billions of dollars and your record-breaking profits and everything else. And these executives were awarded based on performance. 
Um, and you never heard about where those money that money went, but then there had Elizabeth Warren calling this shit out and about about all the executive bonuses yeah. and 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 things that were going on that year. And then we have Iger overspending on Fox and all this money just flowing like water into things like this. And then this year comes, and as soon as there's a downturn, Disney has to shut everything down, lay a bunch of people off. They don't have the money to weather the storm. But it's no damn wonder when they're shelling out. And this is one executive. Yeah. So that's, that's the, uh, that's the issue. Like Disney just, when they're given money, they mismanage it almost every time. But when it's about money, it goes to the CFO. Yeah. When they've got my 11, do you, do you have any idea how many salaries, uh, would that pay annual salaries? Would that pay for the grunts? $11 million figure, you know, some of these folks are making only, you know, 25, $35,000 a year mm-hmm. working in the parks. That's a lot of salaries. Right. Right, but you know, it usually comes down to the CEO decides what they want to do and the CFO finds the money and makes it happen. And they spent an awful lot of money they didn't have on Fox, yet still had record-breaking profits and all this alleged money that, that that whistleblower said was not real. And then they turn around to this year and as soon as there's a downturn, they should have had more than enough money to weather the storm based on last year's performance. But suddenly, right out the gate, they were asking for bailouts and taking billions of dollars in, in cushion money well, if you hadn't ever spent on Fox, you'd have it. If you hadn't been spending money like water on stock buybacks, and if you hadn't been spending money, which would also have been on her, and mm-hmm. if you haven't spent as much money like water on, you know, executive salaries and executive bonuses and all that shit, you would have had the money to keep going. Now, I understand you have to lay people off because that, when, when they're not working, what are you supposed to do? But maybe there could have been things that the other programs that could have been done, there could have been ways to find other things for these people to do. Um, but no. No, but you know what? In in this time of need, and when you're out there with your handout, and you're and you're all like, you know, we don't have the money. Oh my God, Newsom, open California. We're 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 hemorrhaging money. We're oh starving. my God. Uh, let's give her eleven million dollars as an incentive annually. I just keep thinking Ursula. It's like I'm wasting away to nothing. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so yeah, you know, she's gonna have a pretty damn merry Christmas, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, there's so many. Disney workers out of work. And again, I get it. Disneyland's not open. Disney World's not at full capacity yet. People aren't traveling. But still, uh, there were a lot of people laid off in other divisions. You know, there are a lot of cast members that have to rely on handouts from other cast members and from mm-hmm. Disney fans and for, Yeah, fans and, and blogs that are raising money to help them because they're like these. Are the, and at the end of the day, it is the cast members that keep laying off that are the ones when you go to the parks that make it magical. It is not the executives. It is the CFOs and Cheapak, they're the ones that are like, oh, shit, we got to make we got to we got to make this cost less. And they cut the magic out of everything. Like, again, we were supposed to have that sit down mm-hmm. restaurant in Star Wars land. They were supposed to have like at live entertainment, but it got cut because some of the big wigs decided that well, people would be just as entertained with that with that their iPhone and Instagram wall advertising yeah. them yeah. for free as they would be giving them more things. Slap up another Instagram hashtag wall, hashtag bullshit wall. So this is what modern day Disney is, guys. This is what they are. Uh, they're they're not creative. They're cutting people loose. People who are creative, people who bring it. Look at some of, you know, look at, they let Joe Rody go. Well, he supposedly left, but yeah. He it's, did not I still, leave. I, I know. I still call that one bull crap. They bought him out or something. Um, they're letting creatives go. They're letting they them. They tie their hands when they keep them. And meanwhile, they're pocketing all the, they're, they're cheaping out on the guest experience. Okay, left and right, they're cheaping out on things. And then they're pocketing all the money for themselves. And then they're raising the prices on everything. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, we have to, guys. We have to because right now it's just dire. It's so dire. We're, our company's in so much hardship. Um, you know, we're so sorry. Investors feel bad for us. Here's $11 million annual incentive for our CFO, one of many executives getting incentives, apparently. Yeah, this is just, this is, uh, this is disgusting. This hey, is bull disgusting. meat shit. There you hey, go. Hey, bull meat shit. There you go. Is that like boy meets world? Yeah, it's bull meat shit. Bull meat shit. So we're going to wrap no, this please. one up. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. She looks kind of like Cruella DeVille a little bit. she got the crazy eyes in this picture. I don't know her, so I'm not going to say. No but I mean, she, she doesn't look like what I thought she'd look like. No, I actually, no, she doesn't. Um, I thought she looked younger. I thought she'd be younger than that. Not yeah. that I'm being ageist. She no, sounds no, no, younger. No, 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 no. And she's, I thought she had like, you know, I guess she apparently had dark hair at one point because, you know, by the roots. But, you know, I expected her. I don't know. She's not what I thought she would look like. I kept expecting her to look like Kathleen Candy with glasses or something. That was kind of really? like, I don't know. Um, but there, there it is, guys. $11 million bonus. And she's one of many, 
many mm -hmm. executives. But again, tell me why Disney needs bailouts and help. Yeah, don't give them a damn thing. Don't give them a damn thing. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.